This is going to be a little bit different video. Um, I started out looking for some replacements for iron pyrite in crystal radios, and this is used as, a, as the detector. And sometimes it's hard to find. In some areas of the world, this stuff's laying on the ground, but in other areas you have to buy it, and it's kind of expensive. So I thought I would look around for some other minerals that might work or maybe even work better. And I went into a rock shop and asked the woman who was working there if she had any... Uh, what would you call it, uh, mineral ores and uh, metallic ores. And she looked at me kind of confused, and I told her what I was using it for, and she was even more confused. <laughs> so anyway, we went through the book, and she was very patient. We went down all the lines of rocks she had. She had shells and shells of rocks, and we walked them all and looked at them. And one of them I came away with was stibnite. Now, I can't remember what the material is. I'll post it here somewhere, but... Yeah, this is stibnite, and it's a metallic substance, and it looks beautiful. It's very reflective and all, um, but I think it's also toxic, if I remember right. Anyway, again, I'll look it up and put some information. Uh, yeah, but uh, as a crystal radio detector, it's awful. It's actually very conductive, and yeah, it's better than some other just pure metals. Okay, and the other thing I found was this. And this is the weird part of this video, because I have never heard of this. This is called shungite. I have never, never heard of this stuff. And it has some very weird properties. It is grayish, metallic, metallic black. Very cool color. I hope that's picking it up. And it looks like it should be translucent, but it's not. It is uh, definitely opaque, and it has another very weird property, which I probably have to zoom out here. We'll put this on the scale and zoom out so you can see that. Okay, there we go. And turn this on, and let's compare this to the piece of iron pyrite, which is roughly the same volume of material. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller, but okay, close enough. Set the piece of iron pyrite on there, and we get, what, 9.42 grams? That's the grams. And then we put the shungite on here. And look at that. Three, three and a third grams. This is unbelievably light. I mean, handling it is just one of the weirdest experiences. It's mostly carbon. It's 90-some percent carbon. And it comes, it's very rare on Earth comes out of one area. They grind it up and they use it for graphite, but as a detector, it's terrible. It doesn't seem to have any uh, properties that we would be interested in. Anyway, it's just, you know, one of those bizarre things you run across in life, and I thought I would see if anybody else was interested also, but yeah, if you're a rock collector, this would, this is definitely a, a very unique thing. My father was, and I never saw anything like this. Uh, and you know, and if you're a crystal radio person and you just like experimenting, you know, this is one of those things I can, uh, you don't have to do this dead end. Uh, as you're looking, uh, we find unusual items out there. But anyway, that was it. Just a quick video to let you know uh, about this stuff that, again, I'd never heard of. I'll put some more information down in the description. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio experimentation. And if you're a rock hound, maybe uh, this was something new for you.